good. Oh, hi YouTube. Um, my name's Ozzy, and I thought it was quite a while since I last did a video for YouTube, so um, I was my brains what to do one about, and decided I'd do one about how I film some of the 16mm film that I've been putting on YouTube recently. So this video is going to be about how we get the Bolex S221 uh, to film, in this case, um, a film about uh, an advanced motorist driving from London to Bath in 1964. And it's an interesting film, uh, unexpectedly popular, because it shows the road manners and the etiquette um, that people used to have, what, almost 60 years ago. So um, that's what today's film's about, and uh, let's crack on. This is my little projection room. Here's where I um, re-spool films. Uh, there's an 8mm digitizer that is absolute rubbish. Uh, that particular brand always is. Um, here is the awesome Pallard Bolex S321. Um, that's a sink. This is a screen upon which the films are projected. And this, oh, this is my steam bag for BBC films with separate magnetic tape. And I hope you're jealous of the plastic cover uh, to go over it. The first thing I want to do uh, before I start is make sure that the gate is nice and clean. So I get a cotton bud, get a little bit of light here. Um, and in we go. Clean that, clean that, and I might, sometimes you get a little build up on the mechanism that the film is in contact with and that needs cleaning also, but this looks okay. Okay, now what we want to do is put some oil in and uh, this has just a couple of drops of oil before you run it each time. It has a kind of a wick system that runs the oil within it to the various components that uh, require it. Okay, so now it's ready to fire up. This is the S221, and that has a outboard 120 volt, 110 volt transformer. Uh, the slightly later one has an onboard transformer. Um, what we want in terms of settings is the uh, volume to be at about two, three. We want the um, sound to be selected for optical because the film in question has an optical sound. And uh, you can see she fires up. Right, we've got our reel of film hill here. What we need to do is pop this reel onto the feeder spool. Well, that's clicked in, it has, and we bring the leader for the film down to the first sprocket. It's got quite a long leader, this one, so that's fine. We click that shut, then we bring the film into the gate and close that up, and we lock the film into the next sprocket. And then we bring it round to the sound drum here, and there's a little tensioner, and onto the next sprocket. And then there's a couple of guides, and off we go to the take up reel. there. Just manually turn it just to check that it's engaging. A word about the settings, um, I have it on the slowest uh, speed um, that it will film at um, and I have it on a three blade shutter. I don't know how well that works, it's just my attempt to um, try and make sure the film is as, uh, has as little flicker as possible. And with that, we're ready to go. Let's start off.
light on. There we have it, YouTube. Uh, the filming of From London to Bath for a second time. Now, I don't know if that's going to work out any better than the version that I've already put on. But if it turns out after editing that it is any better, it's going to appear the next time I put some films up on YouTube. If it's any worse, well, you won't see it again. Uh, so, until the next time I can think of uh, something to uh, make a video about, um, if anyone asks if you've seen me, keep shtum. Thanks for watching.